you can access a team meeting. A lot of you are getting errors that are saying that you have to be part of this organization to access. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Uh, so you may be in a Canvas course that has a team meeting link like this. You may be on our Guilford's eLearning University prep page, and this is where we have our links. So let's say you're going to open a link. I'm going to open as an incognito window because I am already signed in. So what's going to happen is you're going to hit continue with browser. When it comes up, you want to make sure you allow the microphone. You're going to have your guest name. You're going to enter it and you're going to get this error message is what's going to come up when you access the meeting. So when you access this meeting, that is the challenge that you are currently having. So you're going to hit dismiss and you're going to sign in. Your student's login is going to be their student number. I'm just going to put a fake one in here. Um, and it's going to be at stu.gcsnc.com. This is not an actual student ID number. And it will take you to your organization's page. And this is where you'll have your student's number here. And then their password will be month, month, day, day, year, year. For instance, it will be where you have April 23rd, 2009 would be 04232009. And that is what you type here and you will hit sign in. When you do that, it will open up um, Teams. You will need to hit yes, keep your students signed in because that is going to make your, especially our elementary age students, not have to sign in multiple times. And what that will bring you to is this web page. So I've already entered in another student ID number. Uh, and then you're going to use the web base. So then you're going to join that meeting. And now when you click on these meetings, you're not going to have to log in because you're already logged in. And then you're going to make sure your camera is off and your microphone is off. That is a common courtesy when you enter a meeting that your microphone is on mute and your camera is on mute. It's very important for our students to do that so that there is privacy. And then you'd hit join now and you would be right in that meeting. Um, I hope that is helpful. That is how you are going to log into Microsoft Teams for meetings. Uh, it is also the same login information will be used for Microsoft Sway. Uh, Discovery Education Science, as well as Outlook and um, OneNote, as well as using OneDrive and any other Microsoft apps. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you.